Missing from the Brentford lineup was Terry Evans, still nursing a knee injury from the opening match against Wolves. Taking Terry's place in the number five shirt was Jamie Bates, while new signing Murray Jones took up a place on the subs bench. Meanwhile, the Cottagers were hoping to avenge the crashing 4-0 defeat they suffered at the hands of Brentford last April. Right from the start, the Bees totally dominated the game, and just five minutes after kickoff, Brentford went ahead when a left foot shot from Bob Booker found the back of the net. Midway through the second half, Brentford came close to bagging their second goal of the evening, when a Kevin Godfrey drive forced a blinding save from Fulham keeper Jim Stannard. The clincher came in the 76th minute when a Mickey Bennett cross was headed home by Gary Blissett to put the game beyond Fulham's reach. The final score, Fulham nil, Brentford 2. Brentford. Come back fresh from a 2-1 defeat at Bristol Rovers in the league on Saturday. Showing one change to that team, centre forward Murray Jones starting his first full game in a Brentford shirt. Kevin Godfrey drops to the bench and Jamie Bates continues at centre half in place of the injured Terry Evans. The Bees yet to win in the league. They lost their first game here 2-0 against Wolves. But looking to uh, build on last week's first leg success at Craven Cottage. The game against Fulham always won Brentford a keen to win. Fulham, uh, Brentford's local rivals. They've replaced Watford, who were in the 70s were the Bees' local rivals. The Bees have been playing Fulham again since the mid-80s, and the game's always keenly awaited by players and supporters. And it's Brentford kicking off the first half. This is Bates. This it, Booker. And Ratcliffe. Almost a great start there for the Bees. Jim Stannard collects and straight from keeper to keeper. Statham leaves it for Bennett. And Ratcliffe, and so close there. Ratcliffe, Statham, Blissett, Ratcliffe, nice one touch football, Jones, Blissett. Smiley. Good effort. Beautiful build up though from Brentford. Statham. Bennett. Chance to run at the defence possibly. Still Bennett. Might go it alone. Mickey Bennett. Good effort. Smiley. 
couldn't quite come down. And it's gone out for a goal kick in the end. Eliza May is sitting the foul by Jones. Great effort though from Mickey Bennett. Decided to go it alone, cutting from the right wing. Stanard parried his shot and it didn't quite fall right for Smiley, even though he pulled it back in the end. Bar, challenged by Statham, who wins it. Use the ball from Statham Jones. Booker! Should have buried it. Bob Booker will be really disappointed there. Statham pulled the ball across from the right. Jones knocked it back. And Bob Booker, who scored the first goal in the first leg last week, put it over. This is Eckhart. Farrell. Eckhart. Fernie. Now, chance for Jones. Foul by Morgan. No, not given. Jones again. Ratcliffe. Simon Ratcliffe. Oh, unlucky. Great effort from Simon Ratcliffe there. Just 27 seconds into the half. Ratcliffe picked up the loose ball. Ran on 20 yards. Shot just passed. Brentford's sixth corner of the match is Neil Smiley with it. Here by Farrell. Now Hales. Smiley did well there. Good tackling. Hales wins it back though. Tries to get Barr in. Statham, he's missed kicked. But Millen did well there. Brilliant play by Keith Millen. Ratcliffe completes the clearance. Brian Statham slipped there, Peter Barr was almost in, but Captain Keith Millen showed his experience to sweep up the situation. Now Bennett, and he wins it. Good cross, Stenard wrong footed. Almost an own goal there by John Marshall. Fun and games here at the moment. Mickey Bennett, Rob Martin Pike, put in the right wing cross, and Marshall, spectacular header. Almost bound for the top corner, instead just passed. Cleared by Bennett. Fernie. Morgan. And it's fallen. The shot there was by Barr. Somehow blocked. Not away yet. Fernie, good save by Benstead. Good play there from Fulham. Bar shot was blocked. The ball came out to Fernie. Benstead tipped his shot away. Statham clears. Smiley does well. Great run by Bennett. Here he is. And it's support Brian Statham. Bennett's. Just over. Good break from Brentford. Smiley fed Mickey Bennett. He got to the edge of the box and curled it just over the bar. Curled in. And a head off the bar from Sean Farrell. Cleared by Bennett. Millen took a whack in the face there. Referee says calm down. The free kick was curled in, and Sean Farrell crashed the header against the bar. So, dangerous here from Brentford. Jamie Bates wants it on the far side. Neil Smiley. And Bates! And it's there! Smiley floated the free kick in. Jamie Bates, initial header, blocked on the line. Gary Blissett quickest to react put it in the back of the net. In fact, given to Jamie Bates' confusion over the score, I thought it was definitely Bates' original header. Blissett took the plaudits. And 69 minutes gone, 
Brentford one, Fulham nil. Bennett. Godfrey. Statham. Miss it. Statham. Good move, good save. And a great shot from Statham. Statham swapped passes with Blissett, took the return, hammered it goalwards, and Stannard's parried it. Here's Godfrey. Needs support. It's come to Bates. Looking for Blissett, good ball. Now Blissett. And across everyone, including Gale in the end. Good ball in from Blissett, Smiley. Hewson! Goal kick. Good effort from Chris Hewson. Smiley pulled it back to him. Looking for his first Brentford goal. Drove wide. Clear by Bates. Now Blissett. Great chance to seal it. Blissett. 2-0. Beautiful goal. No doubt about the score of that one. Blissett seized on the defender's mistake. He ran through, rounded Stannard and tucked it home. Eckhart. Marshall. Queuing up, brilliant save by Benstead. Superb save. The header was from Barr, the ball in from Marshall. Brilliant save by Benstead. Hewton. harmless so we played three and a half mini minutes of stoppage time now Brentford co virtually completed a very consistent job two nil in each leg and now going to tomorrow night's draw the score of the final whistle Brentford two Fulham nil Brentford going through to the next round four nil on aggregate